So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of these watercolour 36, 36, 36 watercolour. <laughs> um, this is my first time having like a like an actual set, like an actual box. It's a metal box inside, as you can see, it says metal box and it says reusable paint when dried on palette, which is kind of awesome. So if it dries on the palette, I could always use it again. Awesome. Don't have to like wash it out and stuff like that. Although I do want to keep my palette clean. Hmm. We'll see. But and it says non-toxic, which is awesome. So let's open it up. Okay, two ways. Let's open it, open it, open it. stuff we yeah, shout out to Arteza always supporting your boy I appreciate you guys you are awesome and I love your products man <laughs> oh, there we go Ooh. Ooh. metal case solid 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 scalpel my scalpel at? This cup was dead. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Be safe, children. Be safe. Don't be using them scalpels out here just so recklessly, you know. Necessary use only. Okay, here we have it. Cool. Ooh, which way do I open it? Okay, it says this way. It's got a little logo on top as well. Let's open it up. Hmm. So this is where you get the mixing, I'm guessing. Yeah. I've seen a couple of watercolor artists, you know. Shout out to people like Kirsty Partridge, legit watercolor artist. So I know a couple of things already. Been learning a lot from her. Um, so this is where you mix the colors to get the colors that you want. But we already got a couple of colors as you can see here. They've displayed it for you, which is great because I, I'm one of them ones, isn't it? This, this is the type of artist I am. I just go with it. Like I just try. If I make an error, cool. I'll just learn from it next time or if I find discover something new I remember it that's just how my brain works I just go for it so <laughs> what we're gonna do today is the same thing I'm just gonna go for it just mess around and just try things okay so that's out but I if I want to keep it I might have to keep it Nah, not really don't need to keep it but it's cool though so if you do want to keep it you know you got this and it will tell you all the stuff the colors and whatnot, the names. That's if you're interested. Put that aside. So as you can see, solid. And it moves around as well. Hmm. Don't know if it's supposed to do that, but cool. Oh, they give you a little nice brush pen as well. Nice. I'm gonna be using this today. So I'm gonna put a bit of water in here, apply it, mix it up. I just feel like it's much better than having like the tubes. Tubes is a bit long. But I've tried the tubes as you guys know and that's what I've been using as watercolors for the last couple of months um, I also have watercolor pencils which are also great I'm not gonna lie I like watercolor pencils um, but yeah I wanted to try these out and that's what I'm gonna do today we are gonna be working on an animal study what animal I don't even know wait wait I do know but we're gonna get into this so yeah this is basically it as you can see if you are interested in getting one Link will be in the description alongside all the other art supplies that I do use on a regular basis like my ballpoint pens, the papers, all that stuff. And yeah, any link used will support the channel as well. So yeah, I appreciate that guys. But yeah, let's get into this. I need to go fill this up with water, get my watercolor paper, which I got right here. Again, Arteza, and this is like a small sheet, as you can see. It's like A5 almost, just a little bit bigger than A5. Um, solid watercolor, I like it. That's what I use today, so. Let's get into this. If you would like to see this tutorial alongside other great tutorials, head over to my Patreon where I'll teach you guys how to draw from anything from animals, how to draw a face, how to do skin tone, how to cross hatch, all sorts of tutorials on there for you guys to enjoy. So, as you guys can see, we are working on a monkey today and I have decided to use watercolors because the reason why I like watercolor so much and mixing it with ballpoint pen is because it is very fun, loose and time efficient. I think that's probably the biggest 
thing when it comes to mixing ballpoint pen with watercolor the amount of time you save and um, when you add uh, when you apply the base layers like obviously i've done the sketch which saves me a ton of time and then once i've added the uh, base layers of the watercolor it saves me a ton of time because i don't have to spend that time using the ballpoint pens to create all those layers um that i would normally do that would take me hours on end and um, like this this literally took me what two three minutes if i was using a ballpoint pen it would take me way longer um so that's the reason that's the main reason why i do like mixing watercolor with ballpoint pen and i'm not doing a watercolor drawing by itself why because i'm i'm a ballpoint pen artist and i always have to incorporate the ballpoint pen in my work i don't care. i just have to um so yeah the first thing we did basically was just apply the watercolor um in the areas that i felt like needed it at the beginning I didn't really plan anything again i told you i'm a reckless artist this is what i do i i'm basically an experimentist just is that a word no that's not a word that, that can't be a word i experiment that's what i do you know what i mean i like experimenting trying out new things making mistakes learning making mistakes learning and eventually i'll be good at it good at the thing that i'm making mistakes at if that makes any sense um, so with the watercolor, I like splattering it all over the place. And if there's one thing that I've learned about watercolor is that you need to be loose with it. Trying to be stiff with watercolor is just not, no, no, you just don't do it. You know, just be loose. You know, if you're going to make a mistake, then make it. Because with watercolor, you could always remove it as well. It's water-based. So when you apply it and you feel like, okay, that's not right, just get a tissue paper and just wipe it off, you know? um again like i told you guys at the beginning i didn't keep the names of the colors and everything which was a mistake because this is tutorial so if people ask me what color you use i should have been able to obviously say the color that i use so that's a mistake on my behalf um because not everyone's like me people want to know exactly the colors that i use if they're learning um whereas me i just go with it so yeah i just literally just kept on going back and forth and the good thing about mixing watercolor with ballpoint pen is another tip here is that i can apply the watercolor on top of the ballpoint pen and the ballpoint pen won't smudge one bit that's the great thing about the ballpoint pen it doesn't smudge which i'm so thankful for you know so when i apply the ballpoint pen i'm like okay i need a bit more darker toning here i can just get watercolor put it on top no problem no hassle you know so that's they both work great together which i love i just love it and i definitely need to be doing more studies like this this one was so much fun like i it was so much fun i enjoyed myself <laughs> on a different level you know sometimes i can get caught up in the whole ballpoint pen world and then not realize that you know use other mediums so mix it up a little bit um i get caught up you know because i just love my pens um, and i'm sure other artists have done the same thing when they get caught up in their own medium and just fall in love with it and forget everything else um so but yeah i'll definitely be doing more animal studies and more mixed media studies where whether it's um watercolor or markers um, those are the main two that i use simply because they're the ones that work best when it comes to ballpoint pen um, applying anything that's oil based does not work with ballpoint pen so guys try not to mix ballpoint pen with oils it just doesn't work you know you end up ruining your ballpoint pen or your piece in general um, anything that's water-based or like permanent like a marker um, works well because you can always work on top of it and apply another layer on top of it and nothing will happen you know to the ballpoint pen it won't get damaged or anything i think the downside to watercolors for me is the whole weight inside you know you have to wait a lot for it to dry and stuff like that but then when you think about the ballpoint pen the amount of layers and everything you have to create with it it kind of balances out with the whole time thing you know waiting for paint to dry whereas creating multiple layers it kind of works out to like the same amount of hours um this one took me like over a little over two 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 and a bit hours free um it is a five piece so it's not that big um again fun i enjoyed myself so much obviously i had to watch it back to do the voiceover for uh, patreon and i was just amazed by myself i was like wow this this was fun and watching the whole process again was like really cool this is my favorite part of every piece that i do oh the peeling the peeling ah i'm getting goosebumps oh look how clean that looks oh clean and the last one there we go 
so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this little voiceover again if you do want to see the real-time tutorial it is available on patreon for you guys um thank you for watching make sure to smash the like button you know every like helps um lets me know that you guys enjoy these types of videos you know so the ones that don't get that many likes i'm like okay people they enjoy that and i don't do it again even though some people did so make sure to hit the like button if you did really enjoy the video and subscribe if you subscribed i'll catch you guys in the next video